Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. I'm getting started here on part two of Market Mayhem Challenge here in San Francisco. My uh, chosen market for today. I've been going around California hitting up different markets, trying to hit up uh, as many markets as possible. The ones that uh, interest me or that know that are fun, like that I know that are fun, like San Francisco. I miss this place, man. Check it out. And coincidentally, I run into these uh, guys here in scooters. It wasn't planned. But I got my first order of the second half of this day. $11 order at this Thai cuisine. We're going to see what the second half brings. Tomorrow is a holiday, so it could be a hit or miss. It could be busy or uh, I don't know. Looks like these guys are just gonna go hang out. These two of them are couriers. Other guys just got scooters. Who knows? But anyway, just glad to be out of here in San Francisco. Weather's nice. First half was good, made 170 bucks. That's where I'm at with this order that I just got. Actually, I was at 173 because it updated. So with this $11 order, I'm at 184. I'll be sure to adjust it so I can uh, keep an accurate count of my earnings today. But thanks for joining, guys. Let's get let's get this money. That last delivery was taking way too long. I unassigned without penalty, so I took an L on that $11 delivery. But I got one right away with Uber Eats. This is an alcohol pickup for two for nine bucks. Although that last delivery. It was only ten fifty. It didn't have the little plus. It was a big order. It was like twelve items, eight or twelve. I forgot. So uh, it was. It could have been a hit and tip in that one, but I don't want to overthink it. I already on the sign. But it could have been one of those where they <clears throat> left a small tip on that big order, and those pissed me off more. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to go to the north side of San Francisco, Pacific Heights, actually. It's Marina, the uh, Marina area, there's a park there. Let's go check that place out. Yeah, I have to... I have what put I know the law. Okay, so I have to verify it's you and you know. Yeah, you, you verified me. Hmm? You verified me. Here you go. Here's your ID. Uh, you seem you seem like you've been drinking already. I'm gonna return the order. Sorry. Yes. I'm recording. Yeah, I got some other alcohol on this guy. Nope. You will be paid for the return. You gotta return the items to the store. Sounds good. I wonder if I could report him. He got all aggressive, bro. I'm glad I recorded. I gotta blur out the ID, but I'm gonna post that for sure. Alright, let's take this back. Well, that's the first. No, that's the second time, actually. The first time I delivered alcohol the the customer came out stumbling now i remember i went i had but i had got, pick up the alcohol right then i went to their her apartment it was a little girl silver lake and um i uh she came out and she just want, she just reached to grab I like I knocked she didn't answer and I rang the doorbell and didn't answer I tried calling there was no answer and um, finally uh, that she came out and <laughs> she came out she came out almost fell over kind of hit the door and she like reached out for the bag that I was holding I was like wait wait I need to check your ID and And then um, she went back in there to get her ID, but as soon as I, I saw that, I just left. This one though, the lady came out 
and she gave me the dude's name the dude's id i'm like oh man you gotta check if they're sober right and uh, you gotta verify that it's them too on the id so i was like uh yeah i gotta see him i gotta see that it's him oh, i'm getting a call let's see if it's them hold on all right so i probably won't be able to post that video i started recording when the guy was gonna come out but uh yeah so basically that's what happened uh, i went to leave the alcohol the lady some lady came out she gave me the idea of a guy i asked if i could see the guy the girl's like he wants to see you and then the guy started cursing and that's when i started recording because i'm like ooh, some shit's gonna go down he comes to the window and he's like what did he say he's like i work for instacart blah blah you cannot something i'm like and then he like clearly is drinking and, and intoxicated because that's how you get right you get violent you start cursing so he's not sober so that's why i was like you know what i'm not gonna give you the alcohol uh i'm leaving and yeah I'll, I'll, yes all right I, I just got off the phone with customer uh support i just called them and tell them like kind of like a documentation of what happened He's all like, well, since you're returning the alcohol to the store, they can't really leave a negative review and they can't make like a report and stuff like that. So I'm good. I, I called so I, they can have that additional documentation. You know, people get mad and they start, they could also make like, they could also lie and say some shit that never did happen. But I'm glad that I was able to record that last little piece. But yeah, that dude was being straight a straight up asshole so yeah they're probably pissed and then the lady calls me and um what did she say i guess she wanted me to take the alcohol and give it to her nope that's not gonna happen because if i do that they could leave me a review and they could file a, a complaint and all that and yeah either way they already um like yeah they already like fucked up because it came out the dude came out all drunk and yep i'm getting paid for this still but it's still like double it, it, it took double the time so not really worth it really so i'm taking an l here i should have just stuck with that other delivery the food one because uh yeah i probably would uh there, there was a big chance it was gonna be a hidden tip a big one too because it was a big order it's all good you know what's crazy? I was going to go to the Golden Gate Bridge after that delivery because it's really close. Now I got to just return this. Let's see what I got to do. Hey, what's up, man? I just returned in this order. Yeah, it's okay. The guy was hella drunk, man. I got you. Thank you. All right, man. <laughs> Confirm return. All right. That's it. Still want to hit up the Golden Gate Bridge, but let's see if I get some deliveries going that way. You know, it's crazy that that dude had like scratches on his face, like he had a rough weekend or something, and he's still going at it. And you know what the order was? It was a it was a um, a big old vodka bottle and like a, a drink to mix it with. I forgot what the drink was. Wait, I think I have the screenshot of that order. The lady looks sober. She was fine. I don't even think not any of that alcohol was for her. Yep, Smirnoff triple distilled vodka. Fuck. With Coca-Cola or original soda. It's a weird mix. No, I guess that makes it. Yeah, right. Uh, that's, a, that's a popular drink. Oh, well. She's not. I don't think once you get alcohol return like that I, I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be able to order anymore pretty sure the app uh, takes that away from you for the day <laughs> I'm going to file a complaint against you shit do it and guys I'm still going to hit up that bridge YOLO who knows if I'll get another opportunity at this. I mean, I do want to come back, but... I want to do the Golden Gate Ridge on my scooter. 
Oh yeah, so this is where the popular Lambart Lambart Street is. I'll hit that on the way back. I guess the second half is going to be straight up tourist activities. And then a little money. Here we go, 19th Avenue. That's what leads to the Golden Gate Bridge. They got a speed limit of 35 miles an hour. What? Oh yeah, I remember this. It's uh, this tunnel first. I don't know why I got those uh, fans up there. I don't know what its purpose is for. All right, the speed goes up to 45 miles an hour here. Cool, it's going up. I think that the bridge is like 100 miles an hour. Yeah, walkways on both sides and I think you can ride your bike on the left one because I have ridden my bike through here see crazy that uh, this suspension bridge at one point it was the biggest one in the world gonna go up the hill but there's a lot of traffic and it's a single lane road so yeah uh, I can't there's no lane splitting like that so I'm just gonna get back go back oh that looks sick this will be a dope picture right here well I'm recording with the 360 camera so I'm gonna get a nice shot of this let me get in the center so it could be symmetrical Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn. And then with the GoPro 360, I'll be able to since it's kind of lifted. It's about a foot and a half higher uh, above my helmet. Be able to get a better view of uh, downtown San Francisco, the skyline. It's over here to my left. See, we, we can't see it here because of the the guardrails are are blocking it in a way. There's a toll. I have to pay a toll. I don't know what that is, but I think they're gonna mount me that later. I'll let y'all know whenever I get it how much it was. 
$65.99. Damn. So it's like, hey, that lady called Uber back. She, she tried to make a complaint. Then the Uber called me and she said some lie that I didn't want to scan her ID. I was like, I had to tell her. I was like, it's not that I didn't want to scan her ID. She gave me another ID, so I asked to see the guy to confirm that that's the right person. And that dude came out drunk, so I canceled the order and I returned the alcohol. He's like, oh, okay. She told me something completely different. I'm like, yeah, check her. Let me answer this call. Let's go now. calling checking in uh, she, I'm like what are you doing I'm like oh I'm here in San Fran she's like what I'm like yeah, yeah I told you my challenge she's like alright I saw you were in San Diego and I was like yeah she's like alright just don't go to TJ it's dangerous over there I'm like okay <laughs> I definitely went over there shit what is she I'm gonna tell her I'm trying to get that dual citizenship too probably gonna be like no it's not a good, good idea all right well I'm back guys gonna start getting back on the grind it's a uh, five o'clock so yeah let's see if we get a nice little dinner rush now I gotta take this 360 camera off my back actually let's hit Lombard Street might as well Alright, this is going to be the last tourist stop and then if I hit up, if I run into any other ones later uh, while I'm hustling, then so be it, but this is the last one I'm purposely driving to <laughs> but I think it's going to look pretty cool with the 360 camera right above me I can't wait to see what that's going to look like These cars were parked Those are, th All those cars are trying to get to, the, to Lombard Street I am obviously not going to wait that boy I got a delivery y'all <laughs> straight to the top oh look that, that's part of their tour those guys on the on the tricycle ain't gonna wait all that oh loose gravel I gotta be careful here do this baby oh yeah by the way i don't even know if i give you guys the his uh, history here i don't even know but is this crooked ass street here lambart oh damn this this uh this brick looks slippery i will not do this in the rain people out here taking flicks uh, that's a pretty sick pick right here i'll just uh i'll just screenshot the video oh damn there's a bunch of people at the bottom I did this on my road bike that was a terrible idea it was tough like you had to hold the brakes down because this is very steep it doesn't look steep from from this angle but it's hella steep I should give myself some room there's nobody behind me doo -doo 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 -doo. what's that way that in I regret doing this look at all the traffic I'll probably just skip in front of them let's go <laughs> I'll just cut I'll just cut the cars no I don't fit damn it I gotta give the cars room <laughs> Check out all those people over there. Well, I guess I could squeeze through. Mm -hmm. Dang, can I go around this big ass tundra? Yeah. Would you guys live here? <laughs> I would not live here. I think the tourists will do it for me. 
All right. That was dope. That was dope. That was good. Let's get out of here. Woo! Back to work. He's pulling on something. I wonder what that does. Oh, if he doesn't pull it, he'll transfer over to the other one. Right? I wonder what he did that for. So he pulled that lever. I gotta do my homework on that. I'm curious to see what it's what it does. Market Street, Powell, and Market goes to Fisherman's Wharf. It's the Fairmount Hotel. I'm waiting for my customer to come out. But check this place out. I feel like Donald Trump will live here. <laughs> this guy is straight up backpacking. Dope. So I got a... It was $16 for this trip. Got a hidden hidden, uh, hidden tip in there. Ten seventy five for the RB lounge. Okay, cool. I get to cross that really dope bridge. Let's do it. Sick. Doesn't look very safe, but looks like a lot of fun. You got a few of these out here. Going up and down these steep hills. All right, I got this pickup here in uh, Chinatown. That's where I'm headed right now. There's a lot of people taking pictures, and I can see why. It looks epic. I'm gonna show you guys right now on the video. Ooh, ooh. You can see the bridge. A lot of these buildings lined up, very symmetrical. And it's stu super steep going down here. All right, check this out, guys. They're taking a picture of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got to take one, too. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I was going to pull over. I took one up there, but this looks even cooler. Check that out. We're going back to Chinatown. I just learned how these things get carried all the way up there. The the actual cars themselves, the trains or trolleys or whatever the hell you call them, don't actually have engines. See the center one? There's like either a rope or something in there that pulls that thing all the way up. So they probably got some mechanism that slides in there and grabs a hold of it or locks in or and then that thing uses it to pull it all the way up so that thing's constantly moving and i think what the trolley does is just grips it and then to go up it's kind of like a rope that's always moving if you want to get across it you just grab it and then it just takes you i am speculating i do not even know if this is that's how it actually works but that's what it looks like and I got to pick up right here we're in Chinatown all right so it is called RNG lounge this one I'll put all my layers on I got my sweats under in the thermal but uh, I think I did it too early. It's already kind of kind of warm. It's kind of warm right now. Damn, this thing's packed. There's a sign set that says uh, you gotta we gotta pick up downstairs. So let's hope that I can find it. Whoa! Where is this pickup spot at? I'm guessing here. Check it out. They got the active, upcoming, and then they got the uh, pickup here, assigning a dasher. And then it says here, pickup in 43 minutes, 
minus five minutes plus five minutes ready for pickup oh that's super cool busy orders upcoming whoops that's awesome I'm gonna share that on the crank of the group too long of a wait I was toasting up down there it's hot I got all these layers on so that does not help bummer oh this is cool this is what I remember seeing in videos check this out it's so active right now in Chinatown it was like this earlier actually but then it sucks at that order that restaurant has got a Michelin uh, recommendation I guess that's like a big deal it had like uh, 2007 2010 it had like four years that it got a uh, it got the recommendation I think those are rewards are like if you're a top-notch restaurant I mean it's packed the bottom was packed the top was packed and those people waiting it's probably good but it sucks for deliveries when you got to pick up because uh, so they, they take forever on those slow oh well it's, I don't think it's slow I'm just not getting any orders right now I'm gonna drive around oh you know what I noticed you know I was taking a look at that tablet that they have there for DoorDash it was inter interesting to see what they see what the restaurant sees uh, a lady actually came by and she put she put pause or I think she paused orders I think it's because she was they, they were really busy they couldn't make any orders out and she could pause the app I don't know they could do that just pause it and stop orders so when they're too swamped or they got too many orders coming in so they did that and yeah I'm like that's cool I, I'll, I'll stare at that tablet for a while just to get a better understanding of it I would love to see Uber Eats and as well I'm selling another hidden tip $22 for this one ended up being $30 and 37 cents Jesus that's uh, $18 more Wow wait did I add it Did I add it originally I think I did that's legit worth the walk look I parked all the way over there because I passed it and it's a one way so I had to park and walk back I'm kind of bummed out because they didn't let me take it up to their door I had a they just told me to leave it in the lobby and then I saw it was a big tip I'm like man I wouldn't have mind taking it to their door but gonna be letting us sometimes another high pay order a 13 plus so let's take it these these end up surprising me I've been getting a lot of hidden tip orders is it because it's a holiday or that's just how San Francisco rolls damn this next one is nine items it's gonna be a big tip again you know what it could be quite possibly it could be that uh, a lot of people don't have um, platinum status hmm what do you guys think because I've gotten several of these high paying orders am I the only one snagging them all I hope not see this is the kind of stuff that no one really shares when you try to find info on, on deliveries like this or how the money is you guys don't tell you all these ramen soups three big old bags boy about to get paid tonight how the hell am I gonna organize this 
All right, let's uh, do this one here. Slide this in here. It's just tall. All right, one. get in there baby three all right and check out the transamerica pyramid it looks beast up close it's another banger check this one out 31 dollar tip Woo, I had to go up all these stairs. Totally worth it. So total is $41. There's a $3 peak pay. I didn't even know that. So I got another $12 plus order. It's uh, 21, 21 items. Dang, I gotta screenshot these offers because they're crazy. I'll definitely screenshot the outcome, but this was the final pay but this is 12 12 bucks check out all these driverless cars there's three of these suckers right here they're gonna get overrun san francisco is just gonna be nothing but these driverless cars soon we already got them in la you guys trust them Two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Who knows how much I'm gonna get off of this delivery? It's a plus, so it's gonna be more. It's, it's a lot of items. I don't know. What are you guys guesstimating? It's wild, man. It's a great day to work today. I'm glad I'm out. I'm glad I pushed through because uh, a little earlier I was like, <laughs> after that alcohol delivery, I was a little like, what is going on, man? Rude. Try to get me to deactivate it. That's basically what happened. And I survived. I won. Alright, uh shit. I gotta deliver where exactly? Is it that building? Might be it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, check out this hotel that I just delivered at. What? I did not expect to see this. This is wild. It's just super open on the inside. It's like you're the you're like on the inside of a pyramid. Epic. All right, so the delivery that I delivered here was 18 bucks. Originally it was 12, so we got six dollars more. And I accepted a $17 delivery. Oh man, what the hell? I just confirmed that I was at the pickup. This officially puts me at 300 bucks. Where is, is it, where am I going? Oh, I think it's probably my customer. Yeah, it was my customer. Um, it said in the notes, say they don't let you guys upstairs. Can you just please leave in lobby? So it must've been a miscommunication between the people who ordered because i told them i even texted them i was like hey uh i'm leaving here at this table blah blah harbor view oh damn harbor view is in there somewhere all right let me look it up on uh on google google should give me uh, a good idea where this restaurant is at harbor view Oh damn, is that on the rooftop? In the rooftop? Oh man, I think it is. Shit. Let me ask. It's probably gonna be in here. Here it is. It was right next door. It's supposed to have a really cool view. Kinda wanna check it out. Oh, you do have to go upstairs. For pickups up there down how do you go downstairs oh did you say here or downstairs 
Damn, so I'm only gonna be able to see these views once today. I'm taking it all in. It's bittersweet, this challenge, going to all these different markets, falling in love with the markets and wanting to stay there longer. Like San Diego, I wanna go back. Sacramento, I wanna go back. Oakland, never wanna go there again. San Francisco, definitely wanna come back again. So I got three markets already that I wanna spend at least three days up to a week or up to t a time can permit check out that building right there <laughs> the bus is honking at me because <laughs> I'm looking up and then I'm like I'm like uh, swerving bus is like bro pay attention it's my last day here Oh, we got the PK140Z. I don't think that's the kit. I could be mistaken though. I haven't, the backpack looks really new. And it's been like, oh, three, two weeks since I shipped one. And it wasn't, it wasn't San Francisco. I forgot where I shipped it. Sick backpack. You know what? A lot of people, um, there's a lot of couriers here how to have a more similar setup here in San Francisco than in LA. That's wild. Because here it's um, mostly mopeds. Almost all of them got a backpack or some kind of legitimate um, something to carry, like a big bag. You know, there was a few to bag hustlers and yeah and i saw a few e-bikes i haven't seen no bicycles obviously there's drivers but i really can't tell how many drivers there are like i only know they're doing uber when they pull up to the restaurant and they're not they don't have any motorcycle gear on that's when i'm like okay this guy's um doing uber in his car but i just i just find that interesting that I find more in common with people set up here in San Francisco than I do in Los Angeles. I think this is the first time it prompts me to get on the freeway. There's not many freeways in San Francisco. There's a few. Uh, like the 1 and the 101, they actually just turn to like almost regular streets. For a bit. Then they become highways again. Once you cross San Francisco, once you pass it, then it turns into a highway again. Like, like the one freeway, that one runs all across the coast. Wait, is it? I don't, it's not even a highway at all. A freeway. Anyway, it, it's um. Yeah, you don't get many freeways running racing through uh, San Francisco, so it's like the first time I get prompt uh, to take one. I took one on the way back to this hot spot. I wasn't uh I wasn't using uh I wasn't yeah I wasn't told by navigation to get on one so now anyway your boy uh kind of uh, draining out right now so excuse the speech hiccups there's a car accident on the other side of the freeway we got a car did a complete 180 degree turn Taking the wrong street. I was supposed to get off and go that way. This shit is confusing. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have to take a detour right now. My navigation didn't say east or west, and it split. And then there was another street that split here. Can I do a U-turn? I think I could do a U -E right here. Yeah, yeah, I could. So I'll be all right again after this U-turn. Oh shit. Got some encampments. 
under the freeway. Oh yeah, with this U-turn I'm good again. Sweet. Alright, I'm supposed to take Potrero. Which is... Right, stay right, stay right, don't fuck up again. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm supposed to go left. And then make a right. See, I almost messed up again. And then right turn here. All right, for those of you San Francisco natives, I know this place gets tricky. I, I know you guys got it mixed up there before. Every time I come here, I get thrown off. I'm like, which way is which? I know you guys were probably like that in the beginning. You guys probably got it down by now. Oh snap, there still might be some closures because of the parade. I wonder if I could cross through right here. I'm gonna push through. Damn, look at this. This is active here. Party time, baby, party time. Look, these girls are getting low right here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm at a uh, treat and 24th Street. I'm gonna try. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Man, I'm about to come back here. Excuse me. This is a this is a parade aftermath right here. This had like uh, another extra two bucks on it. Should have screenshot that too. I don't have that habit of screenshot screen, taking a screenshot of everything. All right, so I am in Mission District again, and the parade is over, but there's still some closures here that I gotta watch out for. Everyone's putting away all their toys. That's a big setup. Whole uh, whole stage. I'm sure they got cleanup crews and everything for the potties. Check it out. This whole street. Must have been fun. Man, this parade cost me like 50 bucks. Well, to be fair, if it wasn't for the fair, it wouldn't go, have gone up to that much. This is the name of the car, uh, the festival, Carne Carnaval. My boy Ali posted it. He's all like, yeah, this is the name of it. He sent me the link to the website. I was like, okay, okay, cool, cool. I haven't visited the website yet, so I, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to see all the details, but it's a big it's a big one he's uh my boy ali said he's been in it a couple of times he's part of a he's been part of a few uh parades and stuff like that plays the instrument with some of those uh marching bands looks like fun you got all the ladies too dancing you guys follow along you know Alright, so where the hell am I going? Am I going back? Oh, damn. I'm going to... I'm going away from my hotspot. Alright, check this out. This looks pretty cool. It's a 808. And looks like I'm going to wrap up this part. This part 2 of San Francisco. Day 26 of Market Mayhem. It's a uh, it's sad. I didn't want the day to end, but I gotta start. I'm gonna go have dinner, start prepping to go. Where am I gonna go camp at and all that? And in the morning, I'm headed to San Jose. We're gonna work a dinner. Uh, no, not dinner. A lunch, breakfast, lunch, just to check out San Jose for a bit. And then, uh, and that's it. Wrap up 
at least this segment of Market Mayhem because I still got a week left and uh, I'll probably do something a little more local like Santa Barbara, uh, San Bernardino, North Hall, somewhere around or, or LA County. But let's end this uh, dash real quick. $124. Dang, only five deliveries completed. Wow. <laughs> that is nuts. I can't believe it. That, these are all bangers. Imagine doing five deliveries and making 124 bucks. That's crazy. Uh, let's see what my mileage is looking at. 108 miles. It's cool. Um, the fuel economy is pretty good when you're riding in, in this area because uh, you're not get, you're not going on the highway. Damn, should I take this? Two for 16? <sighs> don't be lazy, don't be lazy, don't be lazy. Should I, should I? All right, let's do it. I'm going to do one more, guys. This is double for 16. Why not? And after this, I'm wrapping it up. Where was I at? Let's see. Hold on. Plus 16. Plus the $2 extra that I got on that last delivery. $318. Not bad. But, guys, thanks, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys already know. If something else comes out, I'll record it. But if not... Don't want to leave without saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace.